Hello viewers, so welcome to Carrie's Tutorials. I'm Simeon Grace. In our tutorial, I'll be taking us on how to cut this wonderful blouse. It's going to be the main material and a net lace attached to it. The sleeve is a, a bell sleeve and I'll be attaching a feathers to the sleeve as well. I'll be using two yards of fabric and one yard of net. Also, I'll be needing a yard of feathers. The materials I'll be using are my plain material, the net lace. I'll also be needing my lining and my BFF. So in case you're watching this tutorial, kindly watch the concluding part, which is the sewing. Also, the measurements you're going to be working with are the underbust measurements, the half length and the full length. We'll also be needing the shoulder measurements, the sleeve length and the round sleeve. We'll be needing the bust and the underbust circumference measurements. So, those are what we'll be doing today. Let's move on. Alright, first we're going to work on the half length and this is the front. To fold our fabric, we need to fold with the highest measurement, which is the bust. The bust measurement is 40 and 40 plus 8 divided by 4 is 12 inches. So this is my fabric. All I need to fold is 12 inches. Having done that, the half length measurement is 15 inches plus 1 is 16 inches. So I have um, 16 inches, which is the half length measurement. So now we'll start the measurement one after the other the first thing is the shoulder and to get the shoulder we have the shoulder of 15 inches shoulder divided by 2 that's 7.5 plus half inch i have 8 inches from the from the shoulder i'll measure down 9 inches you can use 8.5 or 9 inches depending on the height of the cursing, so I'm using 9 inches to get my bust measurement and I'll bring out the hump O. So the bust measurement, like we said, is 40 plus 8 divided by 4 is 12 inches. Now the 8 inches we are adding to the circumference measurement is still the same as the circumference measurement, which is bust or under bust circumference or waist, divided by 4 plus 2. You still get the same measurement. So I have my 12 inches. I have my 12 inches. Now the underbust measurement from the shoulder. Underbust is 13 inches. So I have 13.5 plus the same allowance. And the underbust circumference measurement is 36. So 36 plus 8 divided by 4 we have 11 inches i have my 11 inches now i'm going to connect the shape bringing out the ham o bringing out the arm o i have that's the arm o then from the bust to the under bust circumference measurement so i'm going to cut Now this is the front. I'm going to place this to get the back. Alright, so to get the back, I'm placing the front on the back, still folded into two, and this time around, leaving my zipper allowance of 1.5. You can leave two inches if you choose. So I'm going to bring out the same shape from the side. So next is the neck design and I have the wideness of 3 inches and the front I have the depth of 3.5 inches and the back I have the depth of 2.5 inches so I'm bringing out a round shape And I'm going to slant the shoulder by one inch. The 
the next thing I'm going to do is to bring out my princess dart. And to do that, from the folded part, I'm going to measure 4 inches. Now my 4 inches is coming all the way straight to the nipple point. And on the armhole, I'll measure 3.5 inches. So I'm going to carve out the shape. Okay, now on the front, still working on the front, I'm going to bring out a V shape. And to do that, I'm going to measure the width of 5.5 inches. This is 5.5 inches. And the depth of 9 inches. 9 inches. So, from the width, I'm going to create a V shape. This is a V shape. Going to slant it out. All right, so I have my pattern. I'm going to use this to cut out the net. So let's do that first. All right, so I'm going to place it on on the black net, and I'm going to measure half an inch around it so the half inch is going to be my seam allowance just measure half inch and i'll trace it out So we don't need this anymore. I'm going to replace with this. This is how it's going to come out. So now let's move to the base, which is the flay pad. For the base of our blouse, I'll be folding a full flay. So in case you're watching this tutorial, Kindly watch how to cut different types of flay. Folding my full flay, we are touching this to the under bust circumference measurement of 36 inches. So divided by 8, we have 4.5 or approximately 5 inches. So I've gotten my 5 inches. Just place your fabric together 5 inches. The full length of our blouse is 24 inches and the half length of 16 inches, we are left with 8 inches. So plus our same allowance, I have 9 inches. So I'm going to measure my 9 inches round. So we have the flay to the blouse. I'm also going to cut out the flay to the sleeve. The sleeve is a bell sleeve, so I'll be cutting out the flay. Bringing out a bell sleeve, I have the flay parts of my sleeve. The round sleeve is 15 inches. This time around, I'm folding a double flay for the flay. So that's 15 divided by 4. Here I have 3 points, like 3.5 or 4 inches. And the length of 6 inches plus my folding allowance, I have 7 inches. So that's the length of the, of the flay. So this is um, a double flay 
for the sleeve the two the next thing i'll be cutting is the sleeve and i'll be using the neck to do that so we have the length of the sleeve we have 12 inches 12 inches is the length and plus the folding in i have 13 inches the round sleeve 15 inches divided by 2 is 7.5 so 7.5 plus 3 inches. The 3 inches is meant for my folding. So that is 10.5. Means I'll be folding 10.5. Round sleeve divided by 2 plus 3 inches. That's my folding. I'm going to cut the two sleeves together. So the length 13 inches. Then from the hedge, I'm going to measure down. Four inches in order to get my cuff shape from the folded parts. So we are attaching this to the armhole on our blouse. The round sleeve of 15 inches divided by 2 is 7.5 plus 1 inch seam allowance that's 8.5 inches. So I'm going to slant from this edge that's from the 4 inches bringing it down to my round sleeve and now we can cut this is what we're gonna have and my feathers will be attached to this part of the sleeve like this all right so this is my bff and i have my lining first i need to iron this on my fabric i'm going to join and then place the fabric on the lining to cut all you just need to do is place your fabric on the bff and also on the lining and cut exactly what you have just place your fabric right so i'm going to iron this i'll do the same to the front you can do the same to the flay each piece just place each piece on the on the stay this is a bff stay and um this is my lining so just place each fabric on it to cut it out thanks for watching curry tutorials we've come to the end of our cutting don't forget the concluding part is coming up very soon so click on the subscribe button also click on the bell to get notifications for our upcoming videos i remain simeon grace you can follow us on facebook and on instagram at o Africa tv follow me on facebook and on instagram at carries creations till i see you next class bye